So today we have a classical geometrical problem. We have three quarter circles that are arranged in this specific pattern. Now the question is to find the total gray area that is the combined area of this two top quarter circle and the only given data is the specific pattern and the length of this yellow line segment that is equals to 6. So let us see the solution how can we find the gray area. So first of all we can see that the only numerical value to find the gray area is the length of this yellow line segment that is equals to 6. So this means that this gray area is ultimately dependent upon it. So why not generalize the solution by taking the length of this yellow line segment as variable x and find this total gray area in terms of x and when we will get it we will replace x with 6 so as to get the answer to this particular question. Ok so here we have taken the length of this yellow line segment as x and in the original question x was equals to 6 remember that. Now as per the given data this 3 are quarter circle and in quarter circle this angle is 90 degree. So over here this is 90 for that that is 90 and for this third quarter circle that angle is 90 degree. Ok now as this is a quarter circle and this point is the center of the quarter circle. So ultimately this length and this length are going to be equal because they forms the radius of this quarter circle. Ok now look in this particular triangle first of all it is a right angle triangle and now we have that yes these two sides are equal. So it forms an isosceles right angle triangle. This means that this and this angle are going to be equal and they are going to have a value that is 45 degree. So these two angles are equal and they have a value 45 degree. Ok. Now what I will do is draw a perpendicular from this particular point to this particular line segment. So let us draw that. So here we draw a first perpendicular. So now we will draw another perpendicular line from this same point but now to this particular line segment. So here we draw a second perpendicular line. Ok. Now look carefully in this particular quadrilateral 3 of its angle are 90 degree. So by angle sum property the fourth angle is also 90. Now in a quadrilateral all the four angles are 90 degrees so it forms a rectangle and in rectangle opposite sides are equal. So let me change the color over here. So now we will take the length of this rectangle as equals to h and breadth as equals to k and in rectangle opposite sides are equal so this is also going to have a length h and this much length would be equals to k. So this is having a length k. Okay. Now look in this particular triangle, the first thing that we can observe is that this is a right angle triangle because this angle is 90 degree. This angle is 45 degree so by angle sum property this is also 45. So this angle and this angle are going to be equal. So if the base angles are equal the respective sides would be equal and one of the side is already having a length h. So this is also having a length h. Okay. Now the same thing can be done in this particular right angle triangle. Right angle triangle means 90 degree over here. That angle is 45 degrees so by angles and property this is 45. This side is already k so this side would also have a length equals to k. Ok. Now look in this right angle triangle again. The height is h, the base is h so we can simply apply the Pythagoras theorem so as to get the hypotenuse. So the right angle triangle is like this way. This is 90 degree, this is h, this is h. So the hypotenuse is going to be square root of h square plus h square that is height square plus the base square. So square root of 2 times h square that is going to be equals to square root of 2 multiplied with h. So this is the length of the hypotenuse. So this is having length root 2 times h. Ok. Now the same thing can be done in this triangle. That is also a right angle triangle. 90 degree is over here. These two sides are equal and they are going to have a length k. So by simple Pythagoras theorem, we are going to have that the hypotenuse is going to be k square plus k square that is going to be equals to square root of 2 times k square and this thing is going to be square root of 2 times k. So the hypotenuse for this right angle triangle is going to be equals to square root of 2 times k k. Now look carefully that square root of 2 times h ultimately forms the radius of this particular quarter circle and square root of 2 times k ultimately forms the radius of this particular quarter circle. So as we have got the radius for this two quarter circle let us write down the total gray area. So the total gray area is the combined area of this two quarter circle. Area of a quarter circle is pi radius square upon 4. So I am writing it over here that is the gray area. So gray area is the combined area of this two quarter circle. So pi the radius square so we are going to take this as the first one. So pi times square root of 2 times h the whole square so it is going to be 2 times h square upon 4 plus the area of this second quarter circle that is pi the radius square that is square root of 2 times k the whole square so 2k square upon 4. Now we can see that from the table of 2 it goes 2 from the table of 2 it goes 2. So now we can take pi by 2 common from this both so pi by 2 taken common so inside the bracket it is going to remain h square plus k square. So here we have got the gray area that is pi by 2 h square plus k square. But this is not the answer because we have to find the gray area in terms of x. Now can you find the value of h square plus k square by looking at this diagram? 
Yes, in this particular right angle triangle, we can see that the height is h, the base is k, and the hypotenuse is x. So we have this kind of right angle triangle over there. The height is h, the base is k, and the hypotenuse is x. So by Pythagoras theorem, we have that the height square plus the base square is the hypotenuse square. So h square plus k square is going to be ultimately x square. So we can replace h square plus k square as x square. So now we will have that the gray area is going to be equals to pi by 2 h square plus k square will now turn out to be x square. So here we have got a gray area in terms of x that is pi by 2 into x square. So now as per this question we were having the value of x as equals to 6. So if we will replace x as equals to 6 we will get that pi upon 2 multiplied with 6 square that is 36. So this is going to be equals to 18 pi and unit square because we are calculating the area. So 18 times pi is the answer to this particular question. But the more cool thing was to get this thing that yes the gray area would always be equals to pi by 2 into x square where x is the length of this yellow line segment that is from the center of the biggest quarter circle to the center where these two quarter circles meet. So this thing was more nice and fun to do that yes gray area is pi by 2 times x square and yes of course 18 pi is the answer to this particular question because here the x was equals to 6. So this was my way to solve this particular question. If you have any other method other than this, you can do comment below. And if it's hard to comment, you can send it to me on my email. Or else you can send it to me on my Instagram or Discord. The links are in the description.